Thanks for joining us today. My name is David Malatich, and today we're going to talk about duct design and how duct configurations can change or alter a system's performance. Thank you. Oftentimes we're dealing with heavier pieces of equipment, falls off the table, can cause some damage. So we want to shy away from soft shoes because that's where the most damage can occur. Sturdier shoes, much better. Steel toe shoes, the best. Even though it's just a demo, we want to make sure that we're protected. Thanks a lot. Let's talk about the equipment required for the presentation. Fan, open inlet, allows for uniform loading of the fan wheel, rectangular round transition, round piece of ductwork. Inside there, we have a pitot tube connected to this round tubing, which is also connected to a magnahelic gauge, which will show how much pressure we're generating. We have an outlet damper preset at one inch of resistance or 250 pascal. We have a round piece of ductwork, a support stand to support that duct, and we have a bell mouth inlet to show what uniform loading or guiding the air into the duct does. Thanks a lot. Now on to the presentation. And now to the demonstration. Fans on, generating about 250 pascal or one inch of water resistance. That's our baseline number. Let's see what happens when we add this nice straight runner ductwork to the system. See, nothing's inside of it. See? See what happens. Okay, we place this on the fan. Look at the magnet heel, and you can see that there are some losses associated with this straight runner ductwork. See what happens to those losses when we add the bell mouth to it. Just the bell mouth, again, nothing's inside of it. Just a regular bell mouth venturi. See what happens. Put this onto the fan, and you can see that the performance has gone back to its original baseline number. A lot of times people think that the losses are associated with pulling air quickly over this galvanized sheet metal. The reality is that most of the losses are associated with pulling air over this sharp edged orbits, and that is eliminated by putting the mount on it. So we'll talk a little bit about system design in our final thoughts. All the videos that we've produced so far have focused on how systems affect or change the way a fan performs. You have a 90 degree elbow, that causes uneven loading of the fan wheel. However, in this presentation, we have a straight run of ductwork that allows for load, even loading of the fan wheel, top, bottom, side to side. The fan's actually performing as cataloged. However, we have system losses. And those system losses are associated with either good or poor system design. So for example, we have the sharp edged orifice here. That's causing a lot of losses associated with moving air over it. Putting a bell mouth on it eliminates those losses. So as you can see, designing a good system, proper inlet conditions, no abrupt 90s, no abrupt transitions within that system can help make the system more efficient. Couple that with moving the air into the fan uniformly will produce the most economical or efficient overall system possible. Thanks a lot. Any questions, put it in the comment section below. Any uh, other videos you'd like to see us manufacture or produce, put it in the section below as well. We'd like to make them. Thanks a lot.